All right, man. Welcome back to Make Your Mark NBA channel. It's your boy Mark here again. Just doing a little coverage of NBA.com's rankings thus far on the MVP candidates for the season up until this point. I wanted to go over that. And let me say this. It has been an exciting race thus far to see who's going to potentially win the MVP. I think it might come down to the wire. But of course, I'm going to give you my prediction on who I think is going to win. But let's go over the candidates right now. So number one on NBA.com's rankings, they have Nikola Jokic. And I think that after last night's victory against the Boston Celtics, that kind of did confirm for the meantime that, yes, he should be ranked number one. The Nuggets right now are number one in the West. That was a great win for them over the Boston Celtics, who are number one in the East. And of course, Nikola Jokic, yet again, is having a phenomenal individual season. He's averaging a 25 point, a damn near, excuse me, a damn near 25 point triple double. And he's also shooting 61% overall from the floor. So the Nuggets success is really based around how dominant he is. Like if we think about the word, the term most valuable, that's what I'm thinking about when I when I'm trying to figure out who should win the MVP. It has to come down to who's the most valuable to their team. Like which team might struggle the most, not even if he just doesn't play, but if he plays poorly. Like their wins really depend on how he performs. And Nikola Yoga is definitely for now, I have no problem with him claiming the number one spot at this moment. However, of course, that is subject to change. Once again, it is a very competitive race. All right, so number two on this list, they have Jason Tatum. And I understand why he's that high right now, because the Boston Celtics are the top team in their conference and have the best overall record in the NBA. And of course, Tatum is having a great individual season. He's averaging 38 and four on 47 percent shooting. And his shooting percentages this year have been higher than they have been in seasons prior. But here's the thing with Jason Tatum for me. I like Jason Tatum a lot. I was big on him coming into this year, being the best small forward in the league, and I think it is a debate that he is. It's a debate. But I do think there's other candidates that are having better overall seasons than him. <clears throat> seasons than him. And also, I think that when you have a player on your team like Jason Tatum has Jalen Brown, who's giving you 27 points a night as well on 50% shooting and, you know, plays on both ends of the floor as well, just like Tatum. I think it's not a knock on Tatum, but it takes a little bit away from your potential, you know, your, the argument that you can potentially make for him being the actual MVP this season. Like, is he more valuable to his team than Nikola Jokic or some others? Because you have another star player by your side like that, like Jalen Brown, to me, should be starting in the All-Star game for the East, right alongside Jason Tatum. And their seasons are not that disparate from each other. Like Jalen Brown's numbers are right up there. It's almost like Kobe and Shaq or KD and Steph Curry to a degree. Like you really can't give one of them the MVP when they're both playing, you know, in their prime. Pretty much you could say at this point. So I'm not mad at them having Jason Tatum this high, but I think that he might have to move down just a little bit in the rankings, in my opinion. But let's continue. All right, so number three on the list, they have Luka Doncic, who's, who's having a tremendous season, man. I mean, the man is out here averaging a damn near 34-point triple-double, 34-9-8. and eight. Like, he's been incredible for the Dallas Mavericks. And I understand why they don't have him number one, obviously, right now, because the Mavericks' record is below the Nuggets and the Celtics. But he's having such a phenomenal season. Number one, the Mavericks are starting to creep up in the standings. And I think if they keep trending upwards, he will eventually catch Jokic at the number one spot. I honestly do think he is the most valuable to his team. Like, he means the most to his team. Luka Doncic does, in my opinion. You know, in the past five games, I think he's had about, what, three 50-point performances? And then we know about the historical 60-20-10 performance that he just had recently. So, yes, Luka Doncic is number three for now. But watch out for the Mavericks. As I just stated, they are trending upwards I think they will start to move up in the standings and will start to close in on teams like the Denver Nuggets and who else is up there? The Grizzlies, Pelicans, etc. They're going to get right. Luke has been amazing. Now, I'm going to say this right now. He would be my pick to win MVP. As long as the Mavericks keep increasing and keep improving, rather, by the end of this season, I think if they finish like in the top three or four in the West, somewhere in that range and the records are close, 
I think he deserves to get the MVP. But we'll see what happens. All right, so number four on their list, they have Kevin Durant. And let me say this about Kevin Durant. You know, I was talking last year, and I think I had some evidence to really back this up. Some people were saying it was too early, and may, maybe it was. But I was saying last year that Jason Tatum is going to surpass him as the best small forward in the league. Now, has Jason Tatum done that? The answer is no, not definitively. I know last year the Celtics did beat the Nets in the playoffs. They swept them, and Jason Tatum did outplay him, not by a whole lot, but he did, he did outdo KD in that series. All right, that's what happened. And I'm not going to make too many excuses for KD in the Nets. I do believe that Steve Nash was their biggest issue, and now since he is gone, the Nets have became the hottest team in the league. So at the end of the, at the, end of the day, though, they have to prove it come playoff time. If they match up with the Celtics or whoever they match up with, you know, they got to be able to advance in the playoffs. So we're going to see. Um, for right now, as I stated, is he, is he still the best small forward in the league? He's having the best season. No doubt about it, man. This man is almost averaging 30 points a game and shooting 55% overall. He's having one of his most impressive offensive seasons in his career. No doubt about it. KD has been phenomenal this year. Now, another thing about KD, which is kind of similar to what I said about Tatum as well, is that, yes, I will give him credit because Kyrie did miss some time this season. But since Kyrie's been back, Kyrie has been Kyrie. So he has another player next to him that's been balling right alongside of him. So to a degree, I'm not saying that, like, for me, it is discernible, yes, that KD is the best player on the Nets. But Kyrie, you know, Kyrie is like that. You know, let's not try to, you know, diminish what Kyrie brings to the table. That may affect his overall case that he has to possibly win the MVP as well. So we got to factor in sometimes what these candidates have around them, what other all-star teammates they have around them. And KD does have Kyrie. Now, KD's number four on this list. I think that he's having a better overall season than Tatum by a little bit, especially on offense. Defense is close, but I'll give him the edge because of offense. But I would have both of them beneath Jokic and Luka Doncic. So I would probably have KD maybe at number three. But honestly, then again, I might have to think about that, factoring in that they have Giannis here at number five. So the Bucks have been struggling a little bit recently. And I mean, let's be real. Mainly that has to do with the fact that Chris Middleton has been in and out of the lineup since he's came back, he's still been dealing with injuries. And this is where I have to give Giannis a lot of credit. And why I have, might actually have to put him above maybe Tatum or KD is because at the end of the day, he's been able to keep the Bucks afloat at the top of the East. The Bucks are what, number three right now? Number two, number three? I think they're battling with Brooklyn. And, you know, his all-star teammate has missed the most time. So honestly, now that I think about it, yo, Giannis deserves a lot more credit than what he's given right here. They have him at number five. I might have to put him at number three. You know, and I think he does mean more to his team than I would say Tatum or um, Kevin Durant. Now, I will say this, though. Tatum did outplay Giannis the other night. Chris Middleton was out, but Tatum did outplay him. I'll give Tatum credit on that. But overall, throughout the course of the season, Giannis has had a more meaningful season to his team than I would say Tatum to the Celtics or even KD to the Nets. It's close. It's definitely close. And as I stated in the beginning of this video, this is going to be a race to the end of the season. And these are just the top five candidates right here. Not to mention the remaining five they have on this list. They have um, Embiid. The 76ers have been climbing up the ladder. You got John Morant, what he's doing over there in Memphis, how he has the Grizzlies near the top of the West, right there with Denver. All right. Even Zion Williamson on the outside looking in, who has been dominant this year, who has been leading the Pelicans. They're at the top of the West as well. So got to factor in those guys as well. It's going to be a great season going forward to see who can come out on top. But my prediction, in my opinion, would be Luka Doncic as long as the Mavericks finish with a record that justifies his case. But honestly, man, when it comes to who's the most valuable to their team, I really think Luka Doncic does take the cake, to be honest with you. Jokic is up there too. But Luka Doncic, what he's doing this season for his team – unbelievable otherworldly <laughs> he's been he's been incredible so we're gonna see what happens but you know once again i appreciate everybody that views my videos i appreciate everybody that gives my videos a like 
And also, I appreciate when people leave their comments. If you're new to my channel, um, please hit the subscribe button if you like what you're hearing. Also, follow me on Instagram, um, trademark with five underscores. And then I'm also on TikTok, make your mark with five underscores. So just check me out. And, you know, I'm going to keep posting stuff on a daily basis covering this NBA season and also just various different NBA topics. So stay tuned. All praise be to the most high. Thank you again.